Hey, it's Dallas J. Moore here on SocialRepublic.com. This week, your brand three. We're jumping right into it. Two weeks ago, we talked about if your brand has a negative perception, is that something you need to worry about, what that has to entail, what you need to be doing, and how you need to go about doing that. And then last week, we talked about, okay, your brand has a negative impression. This is hypothetical, of course, but if your brand does have a negative perception, what you can do about it, kind of starting with the why and the when and going from there. Now we're talking about, okay, you're, you, you maybe have a negative perception that involves your brand and what do you do about it? Well, there's no easy answer here, but there are some things you can start doing to kind of figure out what might be the best route for you. One thing you can do is really decide, is it gotten to the point where it's out of control and maybe you need to rebrand? Or is it possible that there are things you can do within your power to communicate and reach out to your audience, reach out to your customers, and let them know that you've wronged what was wrong, and you've righted it, and now you're ready to move forward, and the brand is now stronger because of it. And maybe it even potentially pointed out some weak spots in your brand that they helped you to, to find out, which is possible. There are some brands that have had negative things happen but has shed a positive light on their brand in the end because it was something that they needed to fix from the beginning that never was taken care of. So this week it's important to realize that there are things you can do to fix it and to make these things go away. It's not easy. It does take time. Think about building a brand. How long is it taking you to build your brand? It's probably going to take a lot of time. Also re restore the faith in your brand to build it back to where it was. So things you can do, you can rebrand. It does take time. It does cost money. It may be worth it in the end. The other thing you can do is engage with your consumers, your customers, your audience, and let them know what's going on. Let them know that you've listened to their concerns and that you've taken action to move forward and to rebuild the brand back to where it was or back to what they'd like to see it. So those are two things you can do. The other thing you can do is ignore it and allow it to continue, which some brands do, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully that's something that you won't do if you do have a negative impression and a negative perception of your brand. Hopefully you don't have a negative perception of your brand as it is and people don't have a negative perception of it. But if you do, there are things you can do. So think about that. What is your brand? How do people perceive it? When, if there was something that came in that was negative, when did that start and why did that start? And if after you've come through that, now with this week, your brand three, rebranding, taking the time to do that, or trying to reach out and, and let everybody know that you've fixed the situation and now you're ready to move forward. So this is Dallas J. Moore with SocialRepublic.com. Some things to think about. Your brand three went our third week. I think we're going to kind of call it quits on that little section, uh, but we'll be jumping in and doing some great things coming up for next week. So hopefully you'll be back with us. Have a great rest of your week and thanks for watching.